Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Ryan Riffle, the Multimedia Coordinator here at the Humane Society of Southern Arizona. And today I'm gonna show you how to make your dog photos look spectacular using Photoshop. Let's get started. We are going to recreate this picture right here. So the first thing you wanna do is drag your photo into Photoshop. It'll pop open this screen and I like to click auto. It'll auto adjust some of the colors and contrast. You can adjust a few more of the settings like saturation, like the shadows, the exposure if you really need to, and then click OK. Ah, oh, that's a cute picture. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of all this empty space around the white background. So what you're going to do is go over to your brush tool. You're going to hold alt and click somewhere in the white and fade it and just color that in. It doesn't have to be exact right now. We'll touch up all the details later. I'm gonna speed this up a little for you so you don't have to see this. This part I'm gonna make a little grayer because it matches the screen a little bit. Next, we're gonna go over to our patch tool. And what the patch tool does is it blends the colors where I'm drawing the circle and I'll drag it to somewhere where the colors are close and it kind of fades that line out. Once again, I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit so you don't have to watch all this long process. Now the next thing we wanna do that's very crucial is getting rid of the leash. The clone stamp tool is in the name. It lets you clone any area that you hold alt and click on. You'll see this little plus sign right here on the side. I'll put a little arrow for you. That is what it's copying. So you wanna get as close to the head as possible and just get rid of the leash around the head. This takes practice. You might need some time to get used to it. We just wanna cut around the head. We don't need to go all the way up in the whole leash. We'll just go ahead and grab our paint tool again. Click alt near the area. It doesn't have to be perfect and just color out the rest. We'll go back to our patch tool and we'll fade out the rest of this line. And a little speed up here as well. Look at that, now you have a dog that's laying down on his own. Next we're going to go to the dodge tool. And what the dodge tool does is it lets you brighten up any shadows around the area. Be careful to only do the shadows though. If you bring this across the dog, it will brighten up the body as well. So try not to touch the body. I'm gonna speed this up so that you don't have to endure this. And voila! Then I go to the burn tool. The burn tool is just the opposite. It lets you darken up areas. I like to do the eyes and usually the tongue because when you do the flash, it tends to fade those areas a little bit. So we just want to darken those up and make them look pretty. We've already done a ton of different colorings on this photo already. So I will go over to image and I will click on auto contrast so that it will contrast what we've done. If you want, you can leave the photo just like that. For me, I like to go to the crop tool and crop it. It's just a little too much white space for me how it looks right now and click enter. The last thing I do is drag in our logo so people know it's us. And there you have it, a finished beautiful puppy. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something as well. If you still have questions about specifics in this video, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will answer those the best that I can. I'm Ryan Riffle, we'll see you next time.